a beautiful spring evening in the UK. It's the middle of May and we're finally getting some warm spring weather now. It's been a very cool spring um, since March through to April. So it's actually nice to get some sun in the evenings. Um, there's some hazy sky, so there's a thin layer of cloud up there. So that's just helped to soften the light a little bit, but you should get some warm golden evening light in, in the woodland here. I'm hoping there's going to be some bluebells and maybe some wild garlic on the show. Uh, bluebells this year have been more abundant than previous years, I recall. I think that's due to the wet spring we had, where we've had a lot of rainfall up until now. But it'd be interesting to see if there's much wild garlic there. Again, that's probably um, determined by the weather conditions leading up to spring. Right, let's see what's available. Um, yeah, it's lovely and peaceful. There's, there's only a few people in the woodlands right now. They tend to come during the day. I did come a week ago um, to see the bluebells, but that was earlier in the day. And there must have been about 50 cars parked down the lane. I couldn't actually park. But I come this evening, there's only three cars parked there, so it should be nice and quiet. Let's see what we can do. Just coming to the woodland, there's a, a nice scene in front of me here. Um, there's a oak tree on the left, further back. And in the distance, that pink blob you can see, that's a huge rhododendron bush, which always blooms this time of year in this woodland. But it's a nice scene that, um, taking a, a 16 by nine crop, I may crop that down further. Um, there are a few highlights in the sky, but it's not too bad. But yeah, I'll get some directional light on the trees there. And you've got the bluebells in the undergrowth here. But yeah, it's gonna be a tricky one to um, edit, I think, um, just to get the balance right. I've taken a few exposures, um, one underexposed and one overexposed, uh, just to give myself uh, some range there if I need it. Taken one set of F8 and F11. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to focus like this or not. Um, I may just see the bluebells out of focus. Um, so I kind of want to draw the attention to those oak trees in the scene there. But I have been here in the autumn, and when you do it, you get the colours in the trees, that really is quite magical. Yeah, the sun's getting lower in the sky over there. Just see it just about to dip behind the trees. But I'm looking at an oak tree over there and the sun is just backlighting the leaves there. So you've got some nice golden warm light in the leaves. And you've got the bluebells carpeting below the tree there. I'm using my long lens to get me a bit of reach in there so I can just isolate that tree. I try to portray in a 16 by nine um, just to see which works best composition-wise. But yeah, I'm going to head round to the other side of the woodland. It's quite a small woodland, this. So it would only take me two minutes to get to the other side. But as the sun's just coming over there, I should be able to get some nice light on the other side of the woodland. Yeah, I'm just losing a bit of the light here. But 
it's just a really calm down the forest. Um, you can still hear the birds singing, but there's a sense of calm, you know, as you get close to sunset in any woodland. I'm just looking towards some trees there. There's two oak trees. The left one is slightly nearer than the right one. And in the background, between the gap between those two oak trees, there's another oak tree, which is, it might be two oak trees in the background, or it's one split into two, I can't quite tell. But on either side of these oak trees, you get branches leading out, one to the left and one to the right. So I've set myself up as a 16 by nine crop here. Um, F8, ISO 100. Um, it's so calm here, I can afford to take a longer shutter, shutter here. But it's just a nice calm scene here. Um, yeah, I haven't really got the light. Um, it's a low band of cloud which has come over, um, partially obscuring the sun there, so it's making the, the light very hazy. So I don't have the light coming through, unfortunately. But um, it's still a nice scene and it's still very much worth taking. As I, I thought may happen, I just lost the light there. Um, probably see behind me, um, cloud has rolled in. So about an hour before sunset, that band of cloud rolled in and blocked the sun as it got close to the horizon. So the light just dropped in the woodland there, got quite dark. Um, I did take a few more photos. Um, I'm not sure if they came out. As again, it was quite dark. It was really difficult to try and see what I was doing there in regards to composition. But I got a few shots whilst the sun was there, so I'm hoping they come out well. But it was a good trip and uh, good to see the bluebells and um, I did see the wild garlic and I, I certainly could smell the garlic. It is, yes, for, I actually like the smell of garlic. Um, it's quite a fresh smell in the woodland. But I may return on another evening this week because it's very close to me, it's only a 10 minute drive away. Um, hopefully I can get some light uh, closer to sunset, so I really look, want to be here when I get that golden light and see what photos I can get then. But anyway, thanks for watching this one. Quick trip to my local woodland, but um, I will be out in the next few weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>